Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to, to the primer section of the Aquas Geochemistry course. So in this uh, video series, what we are trying to do is all those students who are trying to learn this new subject called the Aquas Geochemistry or Environmental Geochemistry, there needs to be some kind of basic understanding or some kind of like recapitulation of some of the concepts of general chemistry. Uh, most importantly, the three concepts that you will need to revise and like remember again, like you must have studied these, but what you need to remember and revise are three basic concepts of physical chemistry. Thermodynamics, chemical equilibrium, and chemical kinetics. So thermodynamics will deals with those kind of uh, uh, mathematics and those kind of chemical ideas that tells you whether some reaction is feasible or not, right? So thermodynamics will tell us whether anything will happen spontaneously or not, okay? Uh, chemical equilibrium tells us about what, to what extent uh, a, a forward reaction, to, uh, to what extent a reaction is happening going in the forward direction versus how much is happening in the backward direction. Or after, uh, like at what concentrations uh, is the whole system uh, is at an equilibrium. So these are the types of concepts that will deal with the chemical equilibrium. Like with small changes in the equilibrium, what, what happens to the whole uh, state of equilibrium? If you change the pressure or the concentration or the temperature, which direction does the, uh, does the whole reaction change? So is, does it uh, go in the forward direction or the backward direction and things like that will be, uh, is dealt in chemical equilibrium. Chemical kinetics uh, is the third one, which is very important, which tells us how fast things are happening. So that deals with the rate of change of reactions, right? So chemical equilibrium, once it is reached, we, we cannot determine how fast things happen once the chemical equilibrium is reached. But that, then chemical kinetics comes in and discusses that important part. So how fast a reaction is happening, because Understanding how fast a reaction is happening is, is important in chemistry because uh, some reactions can be really fast. Like you need some reactions to be extremely fast. So at what conditions are those reactions going to be? Things like that, okay? Um, and chemical kinetics also gives you uh, the reaction mechanisms. Like if you deal, when we'll deal with, we'll see how, when we study chemical kinetics, we have a better understanding about the, the, the reaction mechanisms of, 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 the, of the reactions, okay? So we, uh, like, we will discuss these three concepts separately. Uh, thermodynamics, in thermodynamics, so th these three basically are big uh, courses in themselves. And here we'll just go through the, some of the basics so that you kind of like remember what you, have what you already know, right? So we'll deal with the basics uh, 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 and we'll define a system and We'll define the system, the surrounding, and the, we'll also define the types of systems that we can have, an open, closed, isolated systems, homogeneous and heterogeneous systems. We'll then try and um, understand what, what are the different types of variables, right? So what are the states? So what, what is a state? What is an equation of state? And what are the variables? Now you can have intensive variable, extensive variables. You can have state variables. You can have uh, path functions, path variables, and things like that. So those kind of basics will be dealt first in the first video. Subsequent videos will have ideal gas law revision. So we'll, we'll try and uh, uh, understand what were the different basic kinetic theory of gases laws were, like uh, what was the Boyle's law, Charles law, uh, and the Dalton's law, and how we came up with the idea of an ideal gas equation, and what is the different condition in which uh, the ideal gas law equation holds, and things like that. Okay, then we'll move on to the zeroth law, and the first law of thermodynamics. Uh, in the first law, un under the realm of the first law, since first law deals with the concept of energy conservation, we need to define, inter we'll define internal energy, the concept of work, the concept of heat, and what are the different uh, uh, con sign convention associated with that. Like when, uh, when a gas is expanding, is it doing a positive work or a negative work? So what are the conventions in both work and heat and things like that, because the convention will, conventions will be important because with those particular conventions, we define the first law differently, okay? So we'll be dealing with those. And then we'll be defining a very important uh, 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 a variable called, called the enthalpy. So we'll be looking at constant pressure processes and the importance of constant pressure processes, and then we'll come up with the concept of enthalpy, okay? 
Then uh, after we discuss this, we'll move on to the second law, which defines entropy. And we'll see how from the first law, we move to the second law, right? So we'll, be, uh, we'll understand what entropy does actually mean, like physically, what does it mean? Mathematically, yes, OK. And we'll also try and understand what it, what it physically means. And I will also try to include uh, a, dis a discussion part on entropy or of how we came up with this idea of entropy. So me as a student, I always kind of was uh, intrigued by this idea. Like, OK, if I am a scientist or I'm a student, like, how do I come up with the idea of the entropy, right? So how did the scientist envision entropy? Because you can, you can even have an idea about energy and work and heat, but entropy is a very uh, kind of like an abstract concept. How did the people who were uh, doing these kind of work, like uh, Clausius and uh, Carnot and other scientists who were actually trying to build the steam engine, and they came up with this idea of entropy. It's, it's fascinating. And uh, we'll end up with this very important concept of Gibbs free energy, and we'll try and see how the Gibbs free energy combines two very important uh, variables, the enthalpy and the entropy. Okay, then we'll move on to chemical equilibrium. We'll understand the law of mass action, which is, which, which defines, uh, which which takes into account the concentrations or the effective concentrations of uh, the reactants and the products. And there is a particular ratio which is seen to remain constant at equilibrium. So, the law of mass action will define a very special. Uh, a value that will re value special ratio that remains constant if you just keep the temperature constant. Absolutely like mind blowing concept, right? Some law of mass action. You know these things, but I get so excited just like thinking about these things, okay? So, and then we'll, we'll see how we can uh, define the reaction quotient and the equilibrium constant. And then we'll try and see how you have different equations. So, you have a chemical equation. Uh, we have two different kinds of chemical equations and how you can uh, involve mathematics to simplify uh, like chemical equilibrium. So there are certain uh, chemical equations that can behave algebraically, right? So instead of going through the entire chemical process, we can just use mathematics to simplify our work and that will be done in combining the reaction equations. So we'll see how, um, when you when you combine different equations, uh, the, the the chemical equations tend to behave like more algebraically, right? So it's really important. And then we'll have the Le Chatelier's principle, and we'll see how, uh, at a constant temperature, any system in equilibrium resists changes. Okay. Then we'll move on to the very important chemical kinetics. Uh, we'll, we'll try and define the rate laws, uh, the rate law of the forward reaction, the backward reaction, and how the rate of a reaction is defined by the change in concentration of the reactant and the product. And we'll come up with like rate laws, and then we'll see, uh, when, then we'll like combine the, the notion of a chemical equilibrium with kinetics, because these two are like um, very similar processes. Because when you reach chemical equilibrium, it was seen that the rate of the forward reaction and the rate of backward reaction becomes same. So chemical kinetics, chemical equilibrium, like they are related. And then we can also bring in uh, thermodynamics to like complete the picture. Okay, so we'll be doing that. We'll define basic uh, terms like molecularity and order, and we'll then uh, move to a very important equation called the Arrhenius equation, and we'll see how. Uh, changes in the temperature changes the rates of reactions. And related to that concept, we'll be studying the effect of catalysts and how uh, what happens when you catalyze an equation, right? So what exactly happens when you uh, when you use a catalyst? Does how does it speed up? Like we'll see how using a catalyst will decrease will decrease the activation energy and uh, activation energy of the reactions and all those related concepts. Okay. So with this uh, small. Uh, Overview of what we are trying to achieve in this primer to an aqueous uh, or environmental geochemistry course. Let's start with uh, the first topic, uh, thermodynamics.